All right, so these notes are from Chapter 8-2 in the textbook, and we're still talking about surface area. Today we're going to focus on surface area of a rectangular prism. And what we've been doing is breaking these down into a net and finding all of the different areas of the surfaces and adding them together. Today I'm going to introduce a formula to do that. Now, for those of you in my class, this formula is given to you on your FCAT reference sheet, so you don't have to memorize it. And this is the formula right here. 2 times the base times the height, plus 2 times the base times the width, plus 2 times the height times the width. So all you have to do is plug in whatever the value is for the base, the value for the height, the value for the width, into this formula, do the math, and it gives you the answer. So it's really very simple. Now here's one interesting fact, an important fact with this. It does not matter if I call this the height, this the base, and this the width. Or maybe I want to call this the uh, height, this the base, and this the width. It does not matter. I get to pick. So as long as I assign one value the width, one the base, one the height, then everything works out. The reason that is is because if I look at this, if I take this shape and I turn it around, well, I was calling this the width before. Now that's really the height. So it really doesn't matter. It's all a matter of perspective. So just know that you can choose what's your base, what's your width, and what's your height. So let's look at an example. So find the surface area of this rectangular prism. So we're given three measurements. The first thing and the most important thing that you want to do is to label these. So I'm going to pick one of these to be the base, one to be the height, and one to be the width. And it doesn't matter again. I can choose any one I, I want to use. In class, I let the students pick what they wanted to be base, which they wanted to be height, and which to be width. So I'll call this uh, the base. I'll call this the width. And I'll call this the height. But again, I could have switched this all around. It doesn't matter. So I said the height is 18, the width is 6, and the base is 8. Everywhere I see an H in this formula, I'm going to replace it with an 18. Everywhere I see a W, I'm going to replace it with a 6. Everywhere I see a B, I'm going to replace it with an 8. It's as simple as that. So let's see how this works. Surface area is equal to 2 times... My B, we said, was 8. My H, we said, was 18. Plus 2 times my B, again, is 8. My W is 6. Plus 2 times H, which is 18. Times W, which is 6. So all I did was replace all the Bs with 8s. All the H's with 18's, and all the W's with 6. Now, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, tells me how to go about finding the answer to this, and it tells me to do multiplication before I do addition. So I'm going to multiply all these numbers before I add them. So I'm going to do 2 times 8 times 18. Let me punch that in my calculator, and I get 288. Plus 2 times 8 times 6, that is 96. Plus 2 times 18 times 6, I got 216. Now I'm going to add these all together. So again, I substituted in the values for the H, the B, and the W. I multiplied them together. And now I'm just going to add those. And I end up with the surface area equals 600 inches squared. Whenever you're dealing with area, you know that your units are going to be squared. So this is inches squared. All right. So I'm going to do one more example for you. Same thing. Just going to rotate the box a little bit. Not the box, but the rectangular pyramid. 
And again, the first part of this is to decide what's my H, what's my B, and what's my W. You can pick. So I'll call this uh, B, I'll call this W, and I'll call this H. But you could have assigned them differently. It doesn't matter. So again, everywhere that I have an H in here, I'm going to replace it with a 13. Everywhere I have a W, I'm going to replace it with a 5. And everywhere that I have a B, I'm going to replace it with a 2. So let's do that. So 2 times my B is 2. My H is 13. Plus 2 times my B is 2. My W is 5. Plus 2 times my H is 13. And my W is 5. Again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. PEMDAS tells me that I need to multiply before I add. So I'm going to multiply these numbers together. 2 times 2 times 13 is 52. 2 times 2 times 5 is 20. 2 times 13 times 5 is 130. The last step is to add these numbers together. 52 plus 20 plus 30. And I get 202. The units are feet squared. And that's all there is for this lesson. You still could do this by breaking this down into the individual shapes, finding each area, and adding them all together. That is essentially what this formula does. If you look at this formula, base times height. So this distance times this distance, that's finding the area of this box right here. There's two of those because there's one up top here. So I'm finding that area and multiplying it times two. So let's look at this part. 2 times B times W. So base times width is finding the area of this piece. And there's another one of those over here. So I'm finding that area and multiplying it times 2 with this piece. And the last piece, 2 times H times W. Here's my H. Here's my W. So that's finding this back piece. And then there's a the front one here also. So there's the back and the front. So this formula is doing the same thing that we've been doing. It just gives you something to just follow and plug numbers into and it kind of makes your life simpler. All right, so that's all there is for this lesson. If you missed anything or you're unclear on anything, just back it up and look at it again. This is Mr. Bywater, out.